Ken Hinckley has signed a two-year deal with Port Adelaide. He will coach them next year and he will coach them in 2025. There will be no announcement of a succession plan with Josh Carr, although Josh Carr will be staying at the club and is hoping, I think, to one day replace Ken Hinckley. My understanding is the club plan to announce this in the next 20, 48 hours. In fact, I, I can. my best guess will be that there will be an announcement at Alberton tomorrow afternoon, as early as tomorrow afternoon. This is an extraordinary performance by Ken Hinckley, who waited so long to get a senior job. Look at how many games he's coached Kane, 146 of those wins, five, five finals wins, five losses, three preliminary finals. He's got the fourth highest coach, active coaching record of all the 18 currently coaching. And this happens off the back of an extraordinary year. Can we just have a look, take you back over well, the past Koshy 12 months? Well, hit the pause button till August and to stub and do a day he was and he's been uh, true to his word. Treadray, though, was the big time in April when he called for the change. None and two, they started Kane. Have they got yeah. the right decision here? I love it, Hutchie. I, I love it on a couple of fronts. Uh, I didn't think this was going to be the case. I thought he was under extraordinary pressure. What he said in the off-season, he's going to surround himself with people that he respects. They're going to play a fast attacking brand of football. They're going to take it on and he's going to enjoy it. He did that under significant challenges, under fan, under media backlash, under the pressure of injuries this year to key players. And he's coaching as well as he ever has. So to have this announcement now, after they've just confirmed a top four position, is the right call. I think the leadership from David Kosh has been excellent. And you get to keep Josh Carr as well, who is highly credentialed. Doesn't need to be an official succession plan. You can uh, see you that. Ken Hinckley played David. a big role in keeping Josh Carr. Is he, just to clarify that, is Josh definitely staying? Has he pulled out yes, of the Richmond he job? he has pulled out of the Richmond job. That happened last Friday, which happened after the four losses in a row. So, look, things weren't looking ominous for Ken Hinckley, but you did wonder. And Josh Carr clearly went back to Adelaide thinking that one day he might be the Port Adelaide coach. Ken Hinckley, as recently as around four or five this year, even after that wonderful win against the Western Bulldogs in Gather Round, I think felt he was on the way out in this particular, maybe, at Port Adelaide. This is what he had to say about succession planning in recent hours. So the first thing we should do about that is to have a succession plan, you've got to have other things in place for a start. And I uh, just said before, we, we've started conversations, so I'd imagine there'd be a, a piece that needs to get done before anything like that happens. But I don't think Josh is... <coughs> Everyone who thinks that Josh is um, got on, on, on a promise at Port Adelaide, they don't know Josh Carr well enough. He's got a commitment to us, and, he, and I think he's showed that that's real and I don't think it's anything to do with whether he is going to be, and I've said myself, he's going to be a senior coach one day. I, I would hope, and I do hope, one day it is at Port Adelaide. And I think as he sits here today, Ken Hinckley, I'm told, is pretty happy with two years. If he can get the job done and get that elusive premiership, it would be wonderful. But after that, I think coaches never like going well, in the end, but he's happy to go. I think that he did play... We'll talk about the Richmond coaching job later in the show. There's some new names come up there. But he will actually... Josh Carr was a big contender there. And I think Ken Hinckley and Chris Davies spoke to him and convinced him to stay at Port. It's a mighty effort. Rarely with a coach last year under pressure that long survives. And he's sitting on a... Uh, a generational bunch of 22-year-olds who can give him some real success in the next two years and put pressure on that extension again. It, it, it was a mature way to handle car for now, but in two years of the top team in the comp, it'll be interesting to see whether we've got a mould house well, that, 2.0 that's the in question. our hands. And, yeah. and it'll be dictated by yeah. how Ken Hinkley handles that. But, Lord, I, I But just... it's not put down on paper, which is a big difference. With Malthouse and, and Buckley, it was in paper. Yep. Lord, I, yesterday they did, to Hutchie's point, get back to that midfield dominance and the display between Butters, Horn Francis and well, Rosie yesterday you, was back to their real weapon. And I, I just thought, speaking of the way that Ken Hingley is coaching, the decision to play Hayes was a risk, but they did that. They kept Finlayson forward to occupy Taylor there. But that's a real weapon for them that perhaps some of the other clubs that coming into the finals don't have. Well, the advantage they get, Kane, from winning 13 in a row and setting themselves up is you can have a lapse and a lull and you can handle getting injuries like they've had the previous month. Uh, I've been concerned about them, but to see them rebound the way they did yesterday uh, might not be a bad thing that they just dropped for a little bit and they rebound hard in this last three weeks.